Hello dear friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Mukesh English. In this video, I have tried to compile the excerpts of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's speech in the Constituent Assembly of India on 17 December 1946. Constituent Assembly of India, Tuesday the 17th December 1946. The Constituent Assembly of India met in the Constitution Hall, New Delhi at 11 o'clock. Mr. Chairman, the Honorable Dr. Rajinder Prasad in the chair, resolution, aims and objectives, continues an excerpt. Dr. Ambedkar thanks the chairman for inviting him to speak on the resolution. Dr. Ambedkar says that as far as the ultimate goal is concerned, none of us should have any apprehensions or doubts regarding the resolution. He fears that our difficulty is how to make the heterogeneous mass to take a decision in common and march in a cooperative way on that path which leads us to unity. Our difficulty is not with regard to the beginning. Addressing to Mr. Chairman, Dr. Ambedkar says that in order to make a start, he would like to appeal to everyone that we should leave aside slogans. We should leave aside words which frighten people. He suggests to make concession to the prejudices of our opponents and also appeals to bring them in so that they may willingly join to walk on that path which leads us to unity. Dr. Ambedkar supports Dr. Jaikar's amendment because he wants that we should realize that whether we are right or wrong, whether the position that we take it concerns with the legal rights, whether that accords with the statement of May 16th or December 16th. Dr. Ambedkar emphasizes that leave all that aside is too big question to be reduced to the position of mere legality. Leave aside is not a legal question. Dr. Ambedkar appeals that attempts should be made to bring those people who are not prepared to come. Importance of paragraph 3 are two different sets of polity. According to Dr. Ambedkar, the paragraph 3 envisages the future constitution of India. He also says that as the resolution is passed, it will sort of a directive to the Constituent Assembly to frame the constitution in terms of paragraph 3 of the resolution. The paragraph 3 says that in this country, there shall be two different sets of polity. One at the bottom, the autonomous provinces or the states, or such other areas as care to join a united India. These autonomous units will have full powers. They will also have residuary powers. At the top and over the provincial units, there will be union government, having certain subjects for legislation, for execution, and for administration. Two questions which struck Dr. Ambedkar. Mentioning the two questions which struck Dr. Ambedkar, Dr. Ambedkar says that the first question was, which was asked by the Prime Minister of Bihar, how can this resolution prevent the League from coming into the Constituent Assembly? The other question is asked by Dr. Shyam Prasad Mukherjee, if this resolution is inconsistent with the cabinet mission's proposal, Dr. Ambedkar mentions that these two questions are very important questions and ought to be answered categorically. Speaking on the absence of any reference to the idea of grouping of the provinces, Dr. Ambedkar mentions that after reading the paragraph 3, he does not find any idea of grouping an intermediate structure between the union and the provinces. Personally, he does not like the idea of grouping. He likes a strong united center, much stronger than the center we had created under the Government of India Act of 1935. Dr. Ambedkar emphasizes that we do not want a strong center and there must be or there should be an intermediate polity, a sub-federation between the union government and the provinces. 
Dr. Ambedkar would like to know why there is no reference in the paragraph 3 to the idea of grouping. Speaking on why the idea of union is completely effaced or eliminated from this resolution, Dr. Ambedkar says that the Congress party, the Muslim League and His Majesty's government is not an is not ad idem, means to say they have no consent on the interpretation of that particular idea of grouping. Dr. Ambedkar interprets the mind the minds of the Congress party. It was agreed by the Congress party that if the provinces were to be within the different groups, consent to form a union or sub-federation, the Congress would have no objection to that proposal. Dr. Ambedkar asks, why did not the mover of this resolution make reference to the idea of having a union of the provinces or a group of provinces on the terms on which he and his party was prepared to accept? Why the idea of union is completely effaced from this resolution? I find no answer. In nutshell, Dr. Ambedkar says that our difficulty is how to make the heterogeneous mass to take a decision in common and march in a cooperative way on that path which leads us to unity. In order to make a start, he would like to appeal to everyone that we should leave aside slogans. Dr. Ambedkar supports Dr. Jaikar's amendment, he says that living aside is not a legal question. He's also struck with two important questions. He mentioned the significance of the paragraph 3. He also mentions the importance of two different sets of polity. And finally, he says that there should be an intermediate polity, a sub-federation between the union government and the provinces. Dear friends, for reference, you are advised to refer Constituents Assembly Debates Official Report, Volume 1, dated 9-12-1946 to 23-12-1946, reprinted by Lok Sabha, Secretariat, New Delhi, 6th print, 2014. I have also mentioned the link of the import, the original content of the speech in the description box you can download it or you can click and you can download and you can go through the original the original speech delivered by dr ambedkar on 17 december 1946 dear friends thank you so much for watching this video you can reach me at mukesh english at the rate of gmail.com Please do subscribe the channel, click on the like button for more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills. Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.